All right, guys, today is heat treat day. I've got uh, about 20 knives to do today. And I wanted to, this is gonna be a quick video. Um, I'm currently about to heat treat a San Mai steel chef knife. And I really, really, really don't want it to warp. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I make sure that, well, about 95% of the time it works, that uh, this blade will not pick up a warp during quench, okay? Um, so I'm obviously using an even heat and I'm using Parks 50 oil. Um, if you guys don't have a, you heat treat out of a forge, whatever, it's the same principle. Um, and if you're using canola oil, the same deal. The key is these quench plates, okay? And I built these to do plate quenching with stainless steel, um, but I find myself using it with normal high carbon steel all the time now because they're so handy. So these blades, I've got five or six in the oven right now. They've been soaking for about 20, 25 minutes at temperature. Um, and I'm going to just quickly show you my process on this chef knife. Um, and hopefully it all goes to plan and you guys learn something. Again, these plate quench, this plate quench vise, I built it. Um, and I have a video on it too. I'll put a link up right here so you guys can check out how I put this together. It was really cheap. And it is just, man, has it saved me a lot of headaches. So let's get this thing heat treated and um, hope it goes okay. So we're going in the oil for about eight to 10 seconds. And I'm current, I'm moving it around a lot to avoid that vapor jacket and the oil. Uh, I can't tell if it's got any warps yet. Okay, so we're straight out of the oil. I'm not even cleaning it off. I'm going right into the plate quench quickly. Okay, tighten it down as hard as I can. And I'm gonna let that sit for about a minute or so. Those aluminum plates suck the heat out really, really fast. So it'll cool the blade down quick. And I'm just putting a ton of force on it to keep it flat, flat, flat while it cools. So it's kind of like you're not giving it the time to, to bend and warp. And, um, you know, I've covered in other videos how I fix warps after heat treat if it does warp. But using this process, you almost never have to correct any warps at all. So, um, let me go ahead and quickly heat treat another. I don't do this with all the knives, and as you can see, probably by that knife, these are all full thickness. Nope, sorry about that, guys. The video shut off. But I'm quickly going to heat treat another knife while this is cooling. Um, and I don't, you don't have to plate quench every knife. Like a lot of times, like I, I think I just said, these are these are full thickness. Um, I haven't ground my bevels at all, so that takes a lot of the warping out. If you are grinding your bevels before heat treat, um, you're going to get a little more warping. So let me quickly do one more knife and then I'll show you guys if this knife came out straight or not. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping it did. That's a, the one I just pulled out was a Damascus knife, Damascus scalp that, uh, that Damascus tends to warp too, so I always plate plate quench that after oil quenching as well. This one right here is just uh, 80 CRV2 steel. This is my Scout model. And very rarely will this stuff warp when heat treated this way. Um, probably now that I'm doing one on camera, it'll probably be the one that warps, but you know, they, about 15 seconds right there in the oil, pull it out check it yeah and it's straight as a string and it's good to go let's show you guys this one really quick again this is just my scout model still super hot and good and straight there so that one is cooling down over here with the rest that i've got done and um those are going to go in temper after this so let's check this out really quick again this short sweet video but uh, maybe you guys will learn something from it. And this blade is already cooled down. And let's see. 
Dang it, you can't see it, but it is straight as a string. So there we go. It worked out pretty good this time. And uh, yeah, so we're good to go. This should be really cool. Make sure you guys follow along on my Instagram to see the process of this sand my build. I haven't used any of this steel yet, but pretty cool stuff. So that's looking really good. Gonna finish off heat treat today and hopefully maybe go fishing this afternoon. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching.